Okay, this is my Numatron clock. Uh, kind of looks like Nixie tube clocks, but not quite the same thing. Numatrons were display tubes that RCA developed in about 1970 uh, to compete with Nixie tubes. They're actually seven segment displays, but the interesting thing is the segments are incandescent and they're also made to last a really long time. Uh, they were rated for about uh, oh, 10, 12 u 10 or 12 years of continuous use and on this particular one I've uh, fiddled with the voltage and current uh, and it should last a bit longer than that. Um, the case here is not too exciting. It's actually a cardboard box I spray painted black. This is kind of a temporary case uh, until I could come up with something cleaner but actually I may just leave it like this. It uh, worked out pretty well. Let's uh, zoom in on one of the Numatrons. See if we can stay in focus here. Okay, I guess as far as I can go. But you can see clearly the, um, the incandescent uh, segments. Alright, well, let's take a quick look inside. And as I said, this is just a cardboard box and uh, not very clean there. Again, this was just the um, kind of breadboard version. Uh, but again, I, I may keep it this way. It seems to work okay. As far as the clock element itself, I'm using a uh, DS3231, uh, which is a, a very high resolution clock, a very, very sorry, high accuracy clock. It's uh, actually a pretty standard uh, real-time clock, except it's got a temperature control uh, temperature sensor, so it uh, will will kind of make corrections uh, for the crystal based on temperature. And it's only supposed to lose a, a few seconds or, or be accurate within a few seconds a year. Anyway, uh, that's my pneumatron clock.